Hey guys, this video is going to be pretty much me talking off the top of my head, looking at the differences between the new Pascal architecture and how preemption is working, as well as how it is in Polaris with full hardware asynchronous modules, especially going back to AMD 7900 series. If a lot of you aren't familiar with it, they've been doing it since then you know, since the Tahiti architecture. But one thing that's really odd to me is the differences between a game from the same publisher just under different developers, okay? But before I get into all of this with the preemption, you know, the differences between preemption on Pascal as well as no preemption in Maxwell, just want to get things clear for people that yes I am a current NVIDIA user I went from an HD 7990 back in 2014 to two 970s in SLI when they came out well at least when my G1 970s came out because I don't buy reference cards ever I just don't do it anymore <laughs> so anyways let's get back to what I'm going to be talking about. Now we look at Hitman. Now this is before Pascal and Polaris came out and you can see right here we're looking at DirectX 12, Windows 10, 1080p, a Fury X is getting 88 frames per second. You know and you can see that the AMD cards are following suit in performance 85, 82, 82 now you look at a GTX Titan, this is a $999 card at the time. It's getting 78 frames next to a $600 Nano, which is just insane. And now you look at the 980 Ti, it's two frames less, you know, and you can just see everything trickle down here. Now if we look at Hitman, when Pascal came out, I mean, look at this, just freaking nuts at 1440p. Now look, you can see preemptions taking place, and this is not just from a smaller node shrink, you know, going from 28 to 16 nanometer FinFET. This is actually the preemption coming into play, making an actual performance gain than a negative performance impact that we've seen in Maxwell cards. Now the even more interesting thing is Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now this is a NVIDIA game. Now a lot of people will say, well it uses HBAO plus in GameWorks. Well yeah that's true, but it also uses Pure Hair, which is an altered Trez of X, which you can happen to do with Trez of X because it's, let's face it, it's open source, okay? Pure Hair is pretty much compiled from Square Enix developers and blah 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 and they made pure hair so there you go but we're not going to get into that I just want to show you something that is really interesting and you look at a 480 okay it's like right with a 970 now <laughs> now that just shouldn't happen because if you look at a 480 with Hitman it's right under a 980 Ti at 1440p, which is just insane. So what's going on here? I mean, is just is Hitman just so freaking amazing for AMD that you got a Fury X 21 frames below a 1080, yet in freaking tomb hold on <laughs> freaking tomb raider at 1440 you got the 980 ti just whooping a fury x you know and then you got the fury x like at 49 frames with a 1080 at 90 now what is going on here you know that's just kind of it kind of blows my mind a little bit and then if you look at other games okay you can see you can see all these pictures I uploaded from Gollum D 
you can see in Ashes, you know, this was the poster child for DirectX 12, especially from AMD. You can see that preemption has kind of taken, you know, it's it's a lot better, especially for this game. I mean, you can see with, you know, it's two frames difference. You can see DirectX 11 is still a better choice in this game for NVIDIA cards. But if you look at the 480, you can see that it's just a better choice, DirectX 12. Now if you look at Doom, this is a huge difference. You can see the overhead in OpenGL is just phenomenal. Where with Vulkan on the NVIDIA cards, it's not doing as well. You can clearly see right here. I mean, where the 480 is just doing amazing. It's just just destroying its past overhead performance problems that AMD faced. And here's another game that doesn't really get looked at and it's Forza 6, the beta. You can definitely get this off the Windows Store. But just look at this difference in performance. I mean we're looking at a 10 frame per second difference across the board at every resolution from 1080p to 4K. Just unreal. And you can see with the Hitman differences. Now I don't have a, oh yeah, I do have a Rise of the Tomb Raider. But now with Rise of the Tomb Raider, I mean the script gets flipped. So is Tomb Raider using more tessellation or what's going on here? I mean, I know that in Polaris the tessellation is a lot better than it was in Fiji architecture but I don't think it's going to be good enough especially with Nvidia games using high tessellation you know that could hurt AMD cards and make them look bad with DirectX 12 I mean that's just my speculation of what's going on but yeah it's just insane and then if you see now this is a weird one quantum break medium settings you can see the 1060 just whooping the 480 right here. I mean not by a ton but it's still whooping it a little bit but now on Ultra the f the tables get turned. You see the 480 now it's kinda whooping it in the same aspects you know five frames here two frames there whatever it's just yeah I don't know I think devs got a long ways to go but back to the preemption I mean, yeah, it is a lot better. I mean, don't get me wrong. The new Pascal cards are really nice cards, but I'm just not fully convinced. Um, I'd rather have an architecture that utilizes full hardware asynchronous compute. You know, until NVIDIA implements that, I'm just going to stay away from NVIDIA. I'm currently waiting for AMD's Vega architecture and I really want to see how well that does. See if it improves upon current DirectX 11 performance as well as how it is an improvement over Fiji with DirectX 12. Well I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, give me your thoughts. What do you think is going on with Hitman and Rise of the Tomb Raider? Um, do you think Pascal is worth it for you as a gamer. Are you like me? Or are you going to wait and see how Vega does? I hope you enjoyed and remember happy PC gaming. Laters.